Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're not touring a car, but just a big thanks to Bentley Marbella, see the Salamanca for giving us this beauty of a flying spur. Perfect match and the verdant color fits in phenomenally to the area we are, Cascada de Camohan. 17 million euro home that we're gonna be showing you guys. It's gonna be our pleasure, thanks to the Vasari group who are in charge of this, so all the contact details are in the description. Now look at this grand entrance. I am baffled. This is absolutely humongous. It's probably one of the biggest entrances into a home we've seen. And you also have this passageway leading into the house, which already sets the tone of elegance. Palm trees, manicured gardens, two parking spots, a massive garage, nine bedrooms. There's so much to look at, guys. So stay tuned and I would say, let the property tour begin. Let's go inside. Now guys, the entry into the house of this entire hallway is already extremely captivating and speaks for the entire house of the triple height ceiling, the humongous picture windows that bring luminosity in, the coffered ceiling, which is right above the entire travertine that's been laid out in the house. You will see different types, the more natural one here backsplashed behind me, palancar on the flooring with one meter 20 by one meter 20 tiles amazing of the qualities here are dope and it's gonna be a huge pleasure to show you guys everything now we have two master suites facing the sea we have two further bedrooms on the left facing la concha facing la concha as well dramatic views three bedrooms on this level and two bedrooms in the basement a total of nine bedrooms on 1500 square meters of interior built area boom <laughs> so guys now let's have a look at the living room kitchen area, so let's go. Now this humongous living room area is subdivided into two sections, the informal and well, actually two informal living room areas. This one's more to come and to chill as you can see. And we also have a TV lounge area right over there. Now from where Patrick's standing, you get a good understanding of the coffered ceiling I mentioned before. The indirect lighting in the house is amazing. You're gonna be seeing that in the night shots. If you are thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Welcome to the Mara Brothers. Where do we go from here? Because this house is huge, as I said, 1,500 square meters. Maybe we could show real quick the dimensions of the Palancar limestone have nicely been polished as well. They are really big, 120 by 120, and they're laid out on this level entirely in contrast to the more rough looking limestone facade that we have all around. We're gonna be seeing that as well when we look at the divisional wall there that divides the living room with the dining area that we find there. But now ladies and gentlemen, a quick glance into the garden swimming pool area. So join us, come on. We have Cortezo double glazed automated windows sliding glass doors as well which is fantastic with the bush bush <laughs> with a push of a button they open completely giving you that superb feeling of indoor and outdoor we have another lounge area here the second outdoor dining area here right adjacent to the indoor one which is nice you have a winter and a summer dining area and you also got to see at the far end there is a sort of bar kitchen area backsplashed with the more natural travertine I mentioned before. And now let's have a look at the swimming pool area, which is also majestic. Now the house has been recently finished. It's on the market for 17 million and it's a real good stealth home to buy. Infinity swimming pool, really sweet blue, darkish blue tiling reflecting the sun as well. And from there you get a good understanding of the design and architecture of the home, which blends into this environment that we find ourselves in, which is Cascada de Camohan, which is super green. Returning back to the architecture, this home has been built in a very rectangular way, meaning it spreads all the way to the end and all the 3000 square meters have been very utile and of course, our most favorite mountain, La Concha, is to be seen in the backdrop of the house. From as well, many bedrooms, you'll be seeing a sort of picture frame view out of your sliding glass doors onto that mountain. So when it comes to plot, this house is fantastic because you have that undisrupted sea view. You've also got La Concha mountain view and everything that encircles the house is pure greenery giving you 
a feeling of being immersed. And that's also why I love the Verdant Bentley Flying Spur. So once again, thank you, <laughs> Bentley Marbella, for giving us that ride. It blends in to the environment. I love how there's this seamless transition between indoor and outdoor and the nice flow of the same Palancar limestone. Now guys, this is the divisional wall as well with the more rougher limestone that I really love. I love limestone. And underneath we have an omnidirectional fireplace. But now let's skip over into oh, this super spacious dining area. Guys, if you look at the dimensions, it's absolutely flabbergasting. We have a picture window bringing natural light in. 10 people can be seated here. We have a elegant interior design. Big fan of the chandeliers dangling down in a circular manner. We have the coffered ceiling and the discreet lighting as well. Everything you need is here. And now right next to it, we have the kitchen, which is fabulous. I'm looking at it right now. You guys not seeing it yet, but let's explore it. Come on. Now, this is a designer kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. If you agree, give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you think. Now, all the appliances in this kitchen are gagging out porcelain countertop in this really grand kitchen island that also serves as a bar area, thus of the stools. And if you come a little bit closer, everything is automated in this kitchen, which I love so much. Let's start off with the Gaginau wine cooler. You just press the button and it tilts open for you. We have a continuation of fridges from Gaginau here as well. And if you look at the dimensions, we're talking about a ceiling height average of three meters and 20 centimeters. So you do also have the correspondent cupboards and the height that come with it. Gaginau. And this is also really cool, Patrick. Let's hope we can get that nicely into the shot. How intelligent is this? Yeah, it really comes towards you. To so you don't have to like grab inside and look for pepper not, and salt. Not just that, but also the uses of space here is phenomenal. Voila, Gaginau appliances as mentioned before. We have the same cupboard here that slides out with your shelving. And light in case you you know, have difficulties reading when it's dark. To, yeah, the lighting system, as I mentioned before, is fantastic. You have indirect LED strips positioned inside, giving you that glossy look. And this is also really cool. Just check this out. You press it and it just comes out. You basically don't have to do much in this house when it comes to manual labor. <laughs> and then you can just, voila, push it closed. Gaginau induction here this also the extractor nice how it comes out and there's nothing dangling from the ceiling we also have a ceiling cove here a lot of luminosity coming down which is fantastic sometimes in homes it's missing i've seen it many times where the luminosity in the kitchen is very weak so you don't really get to see what you're cooking ridiculous now <laughs> this is your sink and the continuation of the porcelain countertop here, also a backsplash on the wall. Once again, the indirect lighting, the LED strips, bringing you luminosity, but also create dimension, right? Because it gives show to the picture window, which then again, gives you a nice display of the sculpture that's found outside. You're probably seeing that in the detail shots. Cool, and now let's continue. We have behind this a door. Now you wouldn't have thought so because it just blends in into the entire wall here. Oh, I just pressed the button and look. They decide to open themselves, how funny. Anyways, this is a door that leads you to a corridor that connects a guest bathroom, toilet, and a dirty kitchen. Let's explore it, come on. Love it how there is a separate corridor for you to enter into the kitchen and into the dirty kitchen which is found there but let's have a quick glance into the guest toilet we love guest toilets exactly this one even has a window that can be opened fantastic what more do you want shirocco wood in the and also doors. Like floor to ceiling doors 100 percent, exactly very big humongous i mean i'm 183 we're talking about three meters 20 average now let's have a look inside here as you can see, imagine having a party, you would have staff prepare everything here and they're not really interfering with the main entertainment areas. 
We have the elevator that connects, ladies and gentlemen, a solarium where there is the third swimming pool to be found. There are three in this house. Now, spoilers. The solarium, the first floor, this floor, and the basement, Thyssenkrupp, really nice. And bedroom number one of this tour. Let's have a look. The color palette is throughout in this entire house, meaning all the colors for the cushions, for the bed covers, as well as the wallpaper, which we absolutely love. Always a huge fan of wallpaper. I'm organoleptic, so I love to touch things and wallpaper always has a nice texture, but it fuses together. And we also have access points out to another second lounge area for this two bedrooms that are found on this area. This is a little lounge area that is in between bedroom number one and two further bedrooms that we're gonna be exploring now. And we're also going to be taking this glass sliding door out in, in a second. So hold your horses, guys, because we have a little putting. Now, I'm spoiling, maybe I shouldn't be saying it. Cool, let's and go. And amazing views. And amazing views. Let's have a look at two bedrooms that are there. Carpet spaces to my right, recess lighting illuminating, and here, bedroom number two. As you can see, we have a continuation of the covered spaces. Patrick, maybe scoop back a little bit because it is in the same sort of printed style as the coffered ceiling, which is a nice continuation of the style and design. Do you want to open it? Oh, okay, of course. But, voila, LED strips as well, illuminating. And look, I'll open the other one. Look how far up it goes. Now, you would need a ladder because not everyone is as tall as you, Patrick, to reach the top part, but... Oh, wow. Now yeah. I'm just capturing it, yeah. I would say that you would put the skiing stuff up there. Yes, skiing, because we have Sierra Nevada, which is only two hours away, which is a fantastic skiing resort. So you could put all your skiing stuff up there, which you only use once a year. Voila. Now let's have a look at this bedroom. We have a nice working desk out of natural wood. This one has a more bluish tone to it. We also have wallpaper, superb, indirect lighting, air conditioning, hot and cold, underfloor heating has to be said and yeah maybe we can also see Patrick that the same palancar stone is also in the baseboard here which is a nice element to include and it actually rounds up the entire room and the volume it has and you know why I like it because if you mop the floors you now you can you can touch actually the edge of the wall and not get anything dirty or if, if it would be wood you know after some time the wood yes. would swell up and this is very just, good so the baseboards no. basically we don't get much of them here in homes in marbella which is a pity but here they went full out and i'm a big fan and they're really high as well yeah just big time bit. look at it and i'm walking barefoot because i love to connect to mother nature just wanted to and to elements. Out. And to elements, exactly. Let's have a look at this one together, because I really wanted to point out that we have Christina tabs and fittings here, Villeroy and Boch tubs and toilet accessories. But this two sink vanity, which is nicely mounted on sort of looking like a cupboard, also has a drawer set up right underneath here in this nice design and a creamy looking natural stone which corresponds super well to the flooring and a rain shower here of extreme altitude. Extreme height. Extreme height. And if you don't want it, you can also shower like a boring person with this here. I always like these shelvings with yeah. the illuminator. The niches here are fantastic yeah. because where else would you put the shampoo, right? On the floor, it would look ugly. And it's also got a nice indirect lighting here. The LED strips are nicely mounted behind, so it gives the depth more feel and visual effect. And again, if you have difficulties reading when it's dark, you know what you're using. I should be like, oh. <laughs> now, this one also has a bathtub, voila, which is fantastic. You know, you got a bath at least once a month to detoxify yourself. And you have a window and too. Apparently so, yeah, and a window. Which, how, how important are windows? Which will lead us to the outdoor terrace area that I'm going to be showing you guys in a two minutes. Second. In two minutes, two minutes. And to do a mirror set up with backdrop LEDs as well. Fantastic, I think we covered the first bathroom extensively. Let's walk out now and see what else there is. 
We also have the third bedroom that we need to show you, which is positioned here. Let's have a look at it together, Patrick. Same continuation of cupboards here and the same coffered ceiling style that we have shown you in the detail shot. And once again, a fully styled out bedroom. I love the two ceiling differences here as well that create the perfect centered gap for the bed. Bed framing, it has to be and this nice coloring. And as you can see, every bedroom has a different design, which is cool, so it can fit everyone's desires and wishes. Big window, glass sliding doors as well, giving you that superb view out to La Concha, and it's a crisp day. We're gonna be showing that in more detail at a later stage. We're not gonna be walking into this bathroom, or are we? No, no you're shots. probably gonna see it in the detail shots. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that was all when it comes to bedrooms in this level. Now, I would also like to point out that we have hidden hinges in the doors, which makes it more elegant. Soft closing, an entire console here as well for your books, a lot of niches. You probably put a television here, have this as a little chill out area for your kids or your guests. Remember, three bedrooms are on the back wing of the house, making it more private. You know what I just thought? No. <laughs> you could just put like a, a, a sofa couch in here. 100%. And, and just have even more people stay over. If you have such a big home, your family tree grows, everyone's gonna come and visit you. Now, Cortizo double glazed windows, sliding them open and going outside to the covered terrace area. Let's hit it. Let's go. So basically, this is your outdoor chill out lounge for the three bedrooms we have just toured humongously excited and super happy that they went for a natural fire pit here. Patrick, Outside. Patrick, this is for you. This is a fireplace. It's for real log and to burn it and to have it mantle out of Traventine and backsplashed here as well, really giving you that focus onto the fire. I don't know if you understand what I mean. The entire layout of Traventine creates focus to the fire and I'm sure when you see the fire flickering in tune with the natural colors. It creates quite a eccentric epic view. Thing. Yeah, epic. Yeah. And the bedrooms have an access point out onto this terrace also from the bedrooms, as I mentioned once we were inside of them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you something really cool which we haven't yet seen in a home. Let's go. Which is, ladies and gentlemen, a putting green. But before we get to it, Look at this island of landscaped garden area we have here with an ancient olive tree. This one actually makes some sort of cacao tree. I forgot its name. Used to hate it as a kid. My mom used to feed me uh, this like fake chocolate from these kind of trees. Blech. Not a big fan, but beautiful trees. So you've got that nice landscaped area here. And guys, this, a putting green. And I'm gonna be showing you how it's done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this which, is the which irony. One, which one are you aiming for? I'm gonna go for number one. That's a difficult one. <laughs> but let me explain you something which I personally find extremely ironic and funny and sad. I was born in Germany in a rainy gray area and I played golf until I was 10. And then I came to Costa del Golf, which is here in Marbella and I stopped playing. So this is just an indication of how silly life can be. Dominic is preparing for his putt. He takes a swing. It is rolling. Oh, it come so on. Close. <laughs> Dude, that was, a, that was a pretty good shot, I have to say. And the audience went wild. Woo! <sighs> audience went wild. And you, everyone, again? everyone unsubscribes. Oh, dude, man. Yes. Okay. Third time is a charm. You nailed it, Patrick. Now, Cascada de Camohan, which is the residential area in which we are in, which is completely private and secured, you cannot enter without being previously invited, is great because it's super green and it also has the sort like uh, proximity of La Concha. Yeah, I heard you don't get the same views of La Concha than in Camohan. That's what I wanted to point out. So I don't know, we'll probably put a lot of drone shots, steel shots of the view that we have, but we have a nice distance to La Concha in this area, giving you 
a view of depth of La Concha which is different to, for instance, Sierra Blanca where you're much more glued onto the mountain. Now, let's focus on the architecture. We have an extended here section from inside. You will see fantastic views to the mountain again, but there is the gym. We have further two bedrooms up that also have a terrace. And I love how they plastered this extended section with Traverntine and how pointy it is, disrupting the overall clean flow of the house, which defines it as a modern one. Coolio, right? Yeah, very nice, let's go back in. Two lounge chairs as well for the bedrooms. And yeah, Patrick, wait, how cool is this? The angle of the extended section here is equivalent to the laid out flooring here. So basically, it's in perfect harmony and so is the further section there. So architecturally speaking, it's super interesting and exciting that they have done that. Just a nice continuation. Yeah, we really have to determine what is cool, dude. I love it, I think it's fantastic. All right, let's go back inside. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for this entire floor. We've seen the living room, we have seen this captivating entry hall, basically. It's one of the most majestic ones we have seen. We have seen three bedrooms, the kitchen, dining area, outdoor area, swimming pool, a lot we have seen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to show you the two master suites on each side, on the left and on the right. So hold your horses and let's rock and roll. You see the big picture windows on each side, the coffered ceiling, indirect lighting. And at the far end, we have the gym I mentioned before in the extended build that I have so explicitly explained. Now, let's have a look at the first master, right? Let's quickly close this big door and focus on this entire wall that we have here, which is also serving you as further storage facilities. There is a TV mounted. Is it this one? Yeah. Like I said, this house has just been finished. They're still going to be putting the TV in for you to enjoy it. It's right above a fake fireplace, which is quite interesting, Ooh. but I'm fake. happy about it. <laughs> Cheating. You also have two lounge chairs here to come and relax, you know, enjoy your time. Wooden flooring. Love it, by the way. Big divisional headboard here leading you to the centrally positioned bed. Now, why do they always put lamps as well, the dangling chandeliers, so centric, so that you understand that you're in the middle of the room, which harmonically speaking is fantastic. Good Feng Shui. Coffered ceiling, continuation. We also have, Patrick, I love this. We have wallpaper. We also have yeah, Is a, it real wallpaper with texture or just? It's wallpaper with texture. Has these Ooh. ripples. Nice. Mm. Yes. Touchy, touchy, feely, feely, me and like. A dark wooden colored baseboard here for your books, etc. Etc. Why are always books, Dominic? Well, because academic and smart people, I presume, would buy a home like that if they made or, that much money. Or me winning the lottery. We also have a powder <laughs> section here for the missus, nicely positioned in the same wood as the baseboard there. Oh, the flow. Journey of the spirit of surfing. That's more That's for something me. for you, Dominic. Gas. I do like to surf indeed. Now guys, we also have this, which is your ensuite bathroom. Same here, floating two sink vanity in this creamy natural stone, elegant tabs, two mirror setups, recessed lighting, illuminating things, back splashed as well, LED. We also have false ceiling here in which the indirect lighting is installed, which you'll see in the night. And aircon. Superb, yeah, of course. Aircon is a must. Bathtub, Patrick, cannot be missing. Here. It is a well-sized one as well. And this one here I for you, a much bigger niche to Fair put nice. your shampoos, Patrick. You must love this. Yes, but what's, you know what's the best? Walk to the shower, because it's an omnidirectional shower. You can shower inside and outside. Wow, but just look at this. Here we get a good look at the backsplashing of the natural stone, which is super smooth to the touch. It's really been polished. Another niche rain shower from above. 
Patrick's trying to open a window for me, and I think he already did. But we're missing the walk-in closet. No, first this. All right, just you sure? Just to show that just there's a, another shower outside. How effortlessly they open as well. Love it. Outdoor shower, ladies and gentlemen, seems to be a big thing here in Spain because they're installing it in a lot of homes that we've recently seen, which is cool, especially when you can shower and have a fantastic view to the sea which is right up front. Now let's have a look at the walk-in closet. We'll explain the terrace area once we viewed the second bedroom, the second master. So Once we go to the second. Exactly, hold your horses, let's yes, go. Let's go. All right, walk-in closet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look. Voila. We have it on two sides, left and right. Natural wood as well, illuminated by uh, the LED, a lot of space. Center console as well for your socks and your watches and your jewelry, which is also really elegant. With a glass front top so that you can even look inside. And yeah, this window also brings luminosity in and allows you to look into the carport main entrance where you know I was standing with the Bentley. Such a nice car. If you're looking for Bentleys in Marbella, Bentley Marbella, we have put a link in there for you. Patrick. Salamanca. Yeah, Bentley Marbella is from C de Salamanca, but I said that at the beginning. So guys, listen, because you would have known that. More cupboards here. There's actually some wallpaper. There's, there. there's one minus. Oh, Tell you, me. Take the wallpaper, Dominic. You can stick it on your wall, man. I take it as a memory thing, you know? These sliding glass doors also nicely open, and you've got that view out to the sea, which is fantastic. And now let's go back out on the terrace and into bedroom number two. Let's go. Now guys, this entire covered or partially covered terrace area is to be used and I'm gonna pick it up later, enjoyed by the two main bedrooms that we have facing south with fantastic views to the sea. Another lounge here just to come and relax. This is fantastic. It's also covered as I mentioned before, giving you shade and beautiful panoramic views from Elvira and you can even see Africa and Gibraltar. Now guys, let's have a look at bedroom number two on this level. Now guys, this is the second master and obviously being a master, you see how big it is. You have a carpet that goes from wall to nearly wall as well, which gives you access to the bed as well as your chill uh, couch here where Patrick's standing behind him, we have the same setup of a bathroom. Maybe we should have a quick look at it and show it to you guys. So turn the camera. Voila, as you can see, it's sort of the same as we have experienced in the other master bedroom with the bathtub setup, the two sink vanity, the scream natural stone, and obviously all the light fittings that we find in the bathroom. We have the toilet and bidet here and a little bit of a smaller walk-in closet that you see in the detail shots. Fantastic. We have a second, more private terrace area. Great to use of space. And actually this terrace can also be connected to the main terrace that we have just toured. Not can, through. but is. Yeah, can be, is. Exactly, well, you can. can. Spin around. Is. <laughs> and you can go to the main terrace that we have just seen. And now guys, let's continue. On the other side of this rectangular space, we find two for the bedrooms and a gym. Let's explore it. And whilst I walk here, the captivating depth of, of this entire entry hall is just mind blowing. We've got an elegant designer chandelier dangling down. The door framing, by the way, continues all the way up. You see the coffered ceiling, which also helps to absorb sound. Now we have a lot of empty space here. Obviously it's captivating airiness, but there's not much of an echo and that's thanks to the coffered ceiling, a little gallery section here. That's the elevator access that I mentioned before. One bedroom here, one bedroom there. Let's look at this one. Now, perfect. You've seen it in the detail shots. Bedroom number two on this side. Let's have a look. Perfect. I hope you liked the detail shots. Let's have a look at the terrace together. Because here you lounge and you just tank in, sink in nature. You look at greenery. I know you maybe get to see a crane, but they are so awesome here in Cascada de Camohana. They even made the crane green. Booyah, Kasha, that's awesome. That's the little button green where I failed to hit number one. Turning around, that's the gym we're gonna explore. We also have a nice 
tree, which is an olive tree element put right here, which we'll probably put more focus on once we are back inside. So let's do that now. Little pit stop to relax just before you hit the gym. This is the olive tree from the inside perspective, as I mentioned just earlier. This is the post-training or pre-workout shake place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can get your or, or the place you contemplate. Why am I doing this for? Exactly. Or when you walk down the stairs, because there is a set of stairs here that leads up to the solarium. You're already you... so tired that you have to sit down. Yeah. But let's have a look at the gym real quick. Because this is the extended area I mentioned before that is floating outwards. Just underneath we have the putting green, we have a bicycle, stepper, which is good for your bum bum, some free weights, some equipment for, for your bum bum. Pilates and a rowing machine. Love how it's all glassed, by the way, so you do get a lot of luminosity in and a great, great, a Just great. Just a little disclaimer. Hit it. That thing is not for Pilates. That's for your abs, isn't it? Yeah, it's an ab machine. Yeah. Maybe you want to show it, don't you? No, no, I'm fine. But I understand what you do. You put your head there and then you like train your abs. Boom, right there. <laughs> cool. A nice little fitness room. That's probably the best definition for it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the solarium, which is fantastic. We're not going to be taking the stairs. I'm going to be taking the elevator. Because we want to train our bum bum. No, I'm not training anything. That's why I'm taking the elevator. So, see you upstairs. By the way, the basement also has a spa area with an indoor swimming pool with a Turkish bath and a sauna. So we're going to be exploring that. A humongous garage, which can't be missing in a home for 17 million euros, which is as luxurious as this. And yeah just this entire beautifully captivating area. Love it, big fan of this home. Let's go upstairs. All right guys, welcome to the solarium. 300 square meters of enjoyable space with a fur dinkum outdoor kitchen area, beef eater, barbecue setup here, kitchen island, cupboards, store your things, fridges, everything's here to entertain. Even an outdoor dining area right over here. And ladies and gentlemen, Patrick, come a little bit closer because we have pool number two that we have seen so far. A total of three pools are to be found in this majestic home. Sunbeds, direct sun exposure, ladies and gentlemen, because there is nothing that will cover you. You are connected with the sky and the sun, and that's pretty cool. Like I said, the same tiling in this pool up here, nicely decked with wooden plates. We also have another chill out area here. I was told that they're also gonna be implementing much more greenery into the scenarium. This home has literally just been finished. So there's still a minor few things that they're planning to do. But yeah, generally speaking, 300 square meters of solarium area, also accessible through the elevator. And at the far end, we also have solar panels, which give a 30% reduction in electrical usage. Patrick, please be careful. He's doing a scary walk there <laughs> above the pool, right behind Patrick. Maybe we should turn the camera around so that we also get a good view of the panoramic scenario that we have here, Patrick. Ah, I just wanted to catch, capture La Concha again. Yeah, La Concha. But now capture this. This is a view which will not be disrupted of greenery merging with the blue sea. A stunning view. Ah, oh, all right, taking that in a little bit for my personal memory of this 17 million euro home. And yeah, I understand what you meant with getting that La Concha view in. Beautiful. Now guys, there's also still a basement that we're going to be showing you. So let's get started or let's go to end because soon we're ending our tour. The basement is, I think, just under 660 square meters, has two further bedrooms, and yeah, it's quite spacious, so let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the basement. Turn around, Patrick. We have really cool features here. Firstly, your sort of plunge pool with a waterfall feature. You're seeing everything explicitly in the detail shots, a Turkish bath as well, and this epic sauna with the continuation, I think, of the same tiles as there was in the swimming pool and in the plunge pool. Now, Patrick, you love saunas. A quick 
one to ten for this one. What would you give it? Ten. Nice. Because you also have the view outwards. You can see who is coming in and out. Definitely. You have the 360 uh, oven right there, which looks huge for the sauna. So I think it will give you a nice. Uh, oh, you can you know, eat this baby up. A nice heat yeah. coming. And yeah, all good. 10 all out perfect. of 10. Fantastic. And it's also nicely framed with this wooden beams. Cool. Now, this would be your sort of lounge area in the basement. I would put a massive LG screen here, probably like 100 inches. Make this into your TV room area. I presume that's also the purpose of it. Some really funky wallpaper going on there. Uh, not sure if I like it, but fits in. It's a little bit like a tribal yeah. style. Like, I don't know. Don't know. Like, tribal. Perfect. Tribal. Yeah, just tribal. Yeah. You also have a round table and a bar area here to come and entertain your guests. Now that is most of it. There are still two bedrooms. One is a guest apartment or staff Ooh, apartment. That we're going to be a showing poker you. table right there. Yeah, poker or chess. Yeah, four seats for chess. Poker. Let's poker call it, it poker. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're going to be taking you along this pathway. But before we do, Patrick, come real quick. Let's just give a glimpse into the toilet here. It's probably the most quietest toilet as well. And here we have the passage where we have a wine cooler here, nice display section for your wines, the staircase leading up back to the kitchen, the elevator I just used. This is a laundry room. You're seeing it in the detail shot right now. We also have a continuation of coffered ceilings here, big round table, nice light features in the entire house, by yeah, the way. Yeah, the staircase. Yeah, the staircase. Night, it's has two illumino, uh, illuminos, uh, <laughs> it has two illumination sources, exactly. The LED strips and uh, the side lamps that lead up. Fantastic. Here we it have- It seems like the guiding lines in, in a plane. Yeah, exactly. Emergency lights. You will see emergency lights. It's like me at the beginning where I said, ladies and gentlemen, upstairs we have this and that and that and that. Anyways, right over here on my right side, we have one bedroom. Let's have a look. Perfect, and the most quietest room I would presume in the entire house. And along this corridor, we have a little storage room. It's tiny, we're not gonna show it. It's just a storage room. And we have a sort of staff apartment. Sort of, it is a staff apartment. Yeah, staff apartment, se separate accessibility as well out. This leads out to the garden area. You'd probably put the kitchenette here, a TV setup. And just here, come real quick. Come, come, come. We have the bedroom also with a natural light source that you know illuminates this area so you don't have a feeling that you're in the basement. Super cool. Yeah, spacious. Also very nice and spacious for your staff. Yeah. I like that. And your ensuite bathroom with the same qualities as above. One sink vanity, Villeroy and Boch, Christina tabs and fittings, and also backsplashed with this creamy natural stone. I and like that they kept the style also for the staff that compartments. Of course, I mean, why no. shouldn't they? These now, people are hard working. You bet. This is also pretty cool. Should we have a look? Let's go. Let's go. Obviously, two doors for safety. And let's go. All right, guys, welcome to this beautiful garage. Now for perspective purposes and to give more drama to this garage, it's been staged by some really nice old timers. But you also get to see the light detailing that subdivides all the places that you have for your cars. The salida, the exit is right there. But now Patrick, let's turn around and just give a quick attention to this beauty. This is a flying spur Bentley hybrid in Verdant, which is like British racing green color and I drove this car and I must say it is probably the epidome of luxury Just opening the door as well. You got the Bentley logo here. You're seeing this dude. Yeah that's really neat. Come closer come and just glimpse inside from here to see so understand How beautiful this is Pure luxury. Right so there. thank you Bentley Marbella for providing us this opportunity It was the first time I drove such a fancy car in my life, but to be honest the best still is the whole car at front yeah i mean look at this boom stunning flying spur hybrid it's a beast Rawr. 
And yeah, by the way, this slot under which uh, the Bentley is standing has been designed to also have water access so you can wash your cars here. You have a drainage right there and the flooring is slightly tilted so the water will flow in there so you can wash your beautiful cars as well, which obviously you would do. Yeah, look super this, nice. Look at this grill. Mm. Ah, stunning. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. We're gonna be popping up to the swimming pool area now just to say goodbye, basically. Or should we open and show where this garage entrance is? Maybe in the detail shot for you to understand the passageway up into the garage here. So guys, now let's beam ourselves up to the swimming pool and the outdoor area now. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to our YouTube channel where we show amazing homes. I do welcome you guys to check out all the other property tours that we have done. There are over 84 of them, I think maybe even more. So don't hesitate to continue watching our tours. Now, a big thank you to Vasari, the group behind this. All the contact details are in the description box if you want to have a viewing or want to buy this beauty, the contact details are to be found there. And yeah, guys, it was a real pleasure. Uh, we're still gonna hang around and get those night shots in for you. So if you saw the fusion between day and night shots in the tour, give us a thumbs up. It'd be our pleasure to hear from you. And yeah, that's basically it. Patrick, wanna say something to our audience? I'll take your time. Oh, guys, it was a pleasure again. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like the video and subscribe. Stay tuned for more to come in the future. Look at the videos from our past. There are some you know, sweet bits in there as well. And oh, yeah. yeah, it was again a lot of fun. And By the way, uh, before we end, let's just do a really awkward scene where we talk about the landscape feature that we have in front of the house, which you're probably seeing in the detail shot as they well. They did, they did see they it did, all. But this is quite nice. All right, guys, thank you. Forgetting about things to talk about now. Peace. Ciao.